New guidelines concerning childhood obesity raising some eyebrows tonight. The American Academy of Pediatrics suggesting doctors should not rule out medication or even surgery in certain cases, saying, quote, waiting doesn't work. All right, Teresa Pirillo digs into the new guidelines and spoke to local health experts about what they think of the recommendations. It's the biggest change in the way the medical community views and treats childhood obesity in the last 15 years. The American Academy of Pediatrics telling parents and pediatricians to ditch the watchful waiting approach. Obesity is associated with a number of very significant comorbid illnesses like high blood pressure, kidney disease, liver disease. As time goes on, these comorbid conditions become worse and more severe and cumulative. So. Um, the, the, the paradigm for watchful waiting, while it's tempting, um, it, it really is a bad idea. For children and teens, obesity is defined as having a body mass index at or above the 95th percentile, meaning these kids are heavier than 95% of kids their age. That amounts to roughly 20% of children, or 15 million kids. The new guidance recommends acting fast with lifestyle and diet changes, medication, and even surgery. When we look at uh, surgical intervention, um, it actually results in not only a significant amount of weight loss, but a durable amount of weight loss. The one problem, the new guidance puts much of the burden on your pediatrician. As it is, they're already pressed for time and overworked. Dr. Diane Hess is a pediatric obesity specialist. And if you read the studies, the successful programs required 26 hours of face-to-face -face counseling between a physician or a counselor with the parents and the child. I don't know many people who have 26 hours to do that. In Dr. Hess's experience, much of the obesity she sees is rooted in other issues. Classifying it as a disease helps chip away at the problem. We had to fight to get obesity classified as a disease because obesity has been considered a personal choice and a shameful choice. And we know that it's not. It's that it has to do with genetics and it has to do with lifestyle and has to do with socioeconomic status. Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.